And there's ways you can like bounce off stuff. Like do like stylish points kinda like you do in uh Paper Mario. That was in your door, so like I said, I don't know. Is this death? Oh, okay, about to say. You got a shroom shake. Of course. It's freaking uh, World War One reference here. It's real. I actually don't remember. I actually don't even know how to play it, but whatever. What's this say? Hello? Is anyone here? This is not an empty house. There's something in this room. I can feel it. I can help you find hidden things. Why don't you use my power to look around? Alright, whatever you say. Oh. There's a hidden door here. Let me make it visible for you. It's a door. Let's go inside. Well, you don't say. Hmm? What is this mega mustache that stands before me? And how does it have the audacity to adjust my multicolored glory? How did these flimsy whiskers detect my secret door? Wait right there! Red shirt, conspicuous white gloves, jaunty cap. Ha! You are garbed in the rich cloth of the hero of prophecy. You must be the great... Hero! Impersonator! What a costume! You look like you leaped out of the pages of the prognosticus. This is Mario! He's just like this because he is the hero! Merlin told us to find you! Merlin? Only his full body beard rivals my hairy magnificence! If Merlin thinks you are the true hero, you probably are, I think. Well then, as the ancient prophecy foretells, I, Bastovius, will bestow upon you the ancient secrets of dimensional flipping! For a nominal fee of 10,000 coins! But that's preposterous! You can't charge the teacher here of the prophecy! Why not? Even the great and splendiferous Bestovius has certain expenditures! Why should the hero get the world delivered to him on a well garnished platter? These heroes think they can get away with shaking people down for free skills! A mere 10,000 coins should be nothing for a hero of the universe! What do you say? Sure. Fantabulous! Wait a moment! You lack 10,000 coins? I should have expected such cheap scattery from a hero with a scrimpiest mustache. Now that I know you are determined to cheat me out of my due tribute, I will settle for just taking all the coins in your pocket. Sure. Scintillating! Let us begin! Flimity flamity foom! Diggity daggity doom! Zippity zappity zoom! Shaboom! Flip out! I, Bestovius, have granted you the ability to flip between dimensions. Press A to slip between the very fabric of space and flip between 2D and 3D. Well, what do you think? Mind blowing, ain't it? What is this A I speak of? I assure you that we are being watched from another dimension. Those beings will understand, but you like the mustache for full comprehend. Okay, now look here. I'm getting tired of you being racist against my mustache. This means that you can use this ability to find hidden items and secret paths. But beware, use your new power too long, you'll lose HP. Wait, really? Oh! Flip between 2D and 3D to get through tricky situations and find secrets. While you're flipping, the flip gauge in your upper left will start to drop. If your flip gauge runs out, you'll start to take damage, so flip back before then. Flip back into 2D and build your flip gauge again. I didn't know you took damage. I, th I thought it just literally just forced you out. I didn't think you would freaking get murdered for being in freaking 3 too long. Hmm. You know the weird thing is though? This is the game that started all the whole like almost sticker star like business where you literally get these all these items to, to be able to attack in many different crazy ways. Like I said, I, I, I don't really have a, a problem with it. These are pal pal pills. Little pals will follow you and damage any enemy they hit. Huh? Alrighty then. What if I lose half of them? Oh, I see. 
Well, they're all dying now, so I mean, that's always a... Uh... Oh, hold up. I see money. Okay, that drains really quick, though. Wait, there's a second pipe back here. Oh, it's just the same... Oh, it's the pipe in the front, ain't it? Give me a second. This is the same one we came down before, right? But what if there's something down here? Oh, there was. So I'm more than likely gonna be using this using this ability too much. But uh, don't worry, it won't be terrible. I promise I won't spam it too hard. You know, I probably will. Defeat enemies to earn points. When you earn enough points, you'll level up and increase your HP and attack power. Press plus to go to the menu to see how many points you need. Yeah, 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 I know how to play the game. Okay, you're ruining my combo. This is all damage by half. Wow, that seems pretty, uh, OP. You collect the enemy's catch card, you boost the damage you do to it. The more cards, the better. You can boost your power by double, triple, or more. Oh, okay. Probably didn't need that, but... I thought there was a way to, like... I don't remember how... Oh, hold up. See, I don't remember how to do the... Sh I think I actually needed the hotkey to shake. The shake bit. Not the shake. What's it called? The shake hotkey and the controls in Dolphin. But, I, I mean, I played the whole game without knowing about the whole stylish thing. To be able to float in the air. So, you know what? We'll be fine. I'll live. This is a happy flower. For a little while, flowers with coins will rain down. Oh my. So is it just instant death if I fall off? I can't remember. It'd be pretty uh, broken if I fall off a ledge and I just immediately die. Then again, if we're trying to reference, you know, Mario games, it makes sense. Ooh. Well then. I was say, I can't even make that. That's really far. Ah, that's satisfying. This is the end, don't trick me. Oh, it was the end. Oh, there was a hidden enemy here, though. So attacking enemies in 3D like this is a little, a little weird. I used to bouncing on things in a 3D space. Hello. Whoa. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. Press two. Wait. Press and hold two when you're on a jump platform to jump extra high. Oh, but I mean, I could just go around it, though. Oh my god, you see that over there? I saw that, there's like a flood of enemies. Look at this, what's the time? It's a cell flower, it temporarily slows time to a crawl. You'll also earn triple points while it's active. And then I leveled up. Oh, that's the case. Then we're about to go over here and... How long does this last? I hope it lasts a while. No! Jump on more! EXP! Yeah, attack went up by one. Now we can one-shot everything. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, I ran out. Ow! You pricks.
But what I do love about this, it did kind of, it kind of streamlined the whole, you know, leveling up process. Because it does all the leveling for you, so you don't even have to worry about, you know, messing up your build. You just gotta worry about leveling up enough. Oh yeah, and they made it so you can't abuse this freaking one-up thing. <laughs> I learned that the freaking hard way, but I found, I thought that was a pretty good, uh... I thought it was a pretty cool, uh... Easter egg. You can, like, half abuse bouncing on the shell repeatedly, but then if you do it too long, they start, like, minusing points from you. It's hilarious. Clever, clever Nintendo, knowing... to stop us from breaking their game. As always, you don't see that too often. But, 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 uh, we still can't kill you, can we? I'm pretty sure we still can't kill the old piranha plants. I need y'all to calm down. Wait a minute. Ah, yes. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Ooh, a star! Hold up. It's the Mega Star. Use the girl Mega Proportions and trample your enemies. Oh, the Mega. Oh boy. I forgot this even showed up in this game. Well, now the throne is gonna die. They weren't even standing Oh. Is that an egg? Ah. I love that power up. I, I love the mega shrooms just in general. Anything that just makes you big. Good times. I completely forgot that was a power up. I kind of want to do it again, to be honest. I don't think it respawns, though. Wait, what? You didn't take damage from me knocking your wings off? Hey, there's really nothing in this long, suspicious path. Nope, that's the end of the that's the end of the level. Alright, we'll take that then. And that's how this game works. So you never played this game before? That's that's what we'll be putting up with. And so Mario came to the learn the stupendous ability of flipping between dimensions. But there was no time to celebrate. Mario still had a pure heart to find. The trail ahead was overrun with savage beasts. Follow me, Tippy said, as she flew toward the mountain that loomed ahead. The pure heart was hidden somewhere on the other side. I feel that the pure heart is beyond this mountain. It's still far away. Something tells me you'll need to put that new skill of yours to use. You don't say. Not that I've already been doing it. Oh, what up? Never know when those can come handy. Ow! Wait, what now? No, I wasn't ready to leave! I wanted to kill that Red Koopa! EXP waste! I'm going back. Screw it. It wasn't even worth any points. It was worth like a hundred. Lame. Oh. Hello, friend. Ow! Oh, okay. I don't, I don't think that's how that's supposed to work, but, um, whatever. Yeah. No XP waste going on here, friends. Stuck in there. Not, not that I could be stuck in this game. Oh, 
That was this block. I wanted one coin. Yes. There's one coin that is that will not go to waste. That one coin. For some reason, I feel like that's not a trap for some reason. I thought I should jump down there. Should I? Nah, it looks like that. I, th I think I'd rather, I better not. Wait, oh. We actually have to climb the mountain. I'm wasting too much of my gauge, bruh. I'm sure they'll tell me how to do it. Okay. I'm just gonna not. But wait. Wait a minute. I saw a mountain here. Is there nothing on top of this? Really? Huh. Guess not. Never mind then. Can't they jump over these though? Oh wait, nope, never mind. I lied. God, I love how those just look like cardboard. That is hilarious. I love it. Good times. Probably should have read what that sign said before, uh... Jumping in random. I guess we need to come here anyway. One budge. Oh well, I guess we gotta. Hello. Hey, hey! You can see me. Yeah. It's unbelievable. I've been freaking out here for days, and finally someone sees me. A couple mornings ago, I roll out of the wrong side of bed. And once I get my coffee, I realize I'm stuck in some freaky parallel dimension. I've been hollering and flailing for days, but nobody can hear me or even see me. Just when I was starting to think I'd be here forever, I see you. You just blipped in here and out of thin air. I was thinking if you could do that, maybe I could hit you right back with you. Just stand next to me and flip back to 2D. I'll hold on. All right, buddy. There you go. Oh, we did it! I'm back to normal. Listen up, you really built me out of there. That 3D business is freaking me out. Name's Red. Nice to meet you. Say, uh, anyway I can repay you? Actually, there's one thing. There's a huge chasm outside we just need to cross. So you want to cross the chasm, huh? Well, you found yourself the right guy. Hey, I've got to warn you. You know this place is called Impasse Pass, right? I'm only allowed to let a choice few across the bridge. Send my job description. I mean, that's why they pay me to stand here. You sure you want to pass? Yeah, well, you did save me from being trapped in the parallel dimension and all. Okay, I'm gonna ask you a question. Get it right and I'll let you pass. Sound good? Here we go. What's the most manly color in the entire universe? Red or green? Well, obviously it's red. Yes, you are so right! I knew it! You and me, we see eye to eye on fashion. I'll throw the bridge down. Hang on a sec. Well, I could've did that. Alright, you should be good to go. You take her easy. I wonder what happened if you were answered like green. Or both even. Whatever. What does that sign say? Bridge closed. Red to bridge master. Oh. Not anymore, it's not. Wait, is this a shop? Hold up. Hello! Good day! What you got here, bruh? 